So this week we'll be looking into creating what is known as a what-if analysis using Excel. Uh, that's actually one of the very powerful things about Excel is that we can take all of this data that we're seeing here and we can uh, sort of now play what if, but on top of that we can also actually give it a visualization as well. So now these numbers, for example, just aren't arbitrarily sitting on the screen, but we can actually play with them a little bit more. Let's say, for example, we're working off this cycle green uh, income statement uh, for a bike uh, company. Well, right now we have arbitrarily put in a few numbers, like 570 units at uh, $2,100. Now, that's going to give us a net income of just $125,000 total at the end of the year, minus expenses. What we would normally do is we'd come in here and we would just arbitrarily start to put in numbers. So you can see, for example, if I only sold 400 bikes, uh, I'm going to actually uh, be in the hole $45,000. If I go to, say, 500, 500, I do have some money. Well, instead of me just going in and fiddling and fiddling and fiddling until we uh, create our break even point, what we can actually do is we can start to utilize sort of this what if analysis approach uh, on, say for example, these numbers. Let's say over here we're going to just create something known as my break even analysis. Now, this break even analysis, this is going to be my way of looking at what happens when I do change, say for example, all of my numbers. I, I change my units sold from uh, 570 to 300 or something of that nature. Uh, it'll let me just kind of take a look at each one of the uh, numbers as they happen. So again, we'll start with the basics. We'll start with uh, that B4, our revenue. I want to focus in on this summary section down here. Nothing too crazy right now. Now I am going to just cheat and uh, use some uh, format painting to kind of make this stuff look a little better. So now I've done that. Now I want to say, what are we going to do with different types of numbers? Uh, let me just play around with a few different numbers. One of the ways we can do this is we can actually utilize that auto fill command we've done in the past. Say I want to go up by 50, uh, 50 unit increments. So starting at 300, dragging down till I get to about 700. So I see I have a few different numbers. All right, excellent. Well, now what I can do is I can actually utilize that what if. First I want to go ahead and highlight everything from D4 to G13, all of my numbers. This space right here, I don't want to go and calculate this myself. You know, uh, too much effort way too many variables going on here. What I can do, however, is I can go into my data tab. Inside my data tab, I have this what if analysis. And what I want to select is the option data table. Now data table basically is going to say, where is your input going to be coming from? In our case, it's going to be coming from a column input cell B4. Now this B4, this is basically our way of saying this is the number that's going to be changing with these numbers being the changed, if you will. When I select OK, you'll see that I get a number of different numbers appearing now all of a sudden. So if I just highlight these guys for a second, I'm going to uh, take them and just give them a number. Well, let me go ahead and just cheat now. I'll format painter here. There we are. So you can see immediately now, if I only sell 300, I'm not going to make a lot of money. If I sell 450, I'm barely breaking even versus 700, I've got my net income of $255,000. So now I can continue with this same effect. I can actually take uh, these numbers, if you will, and I can actually uh, go one step further. What I want to go ahead and do is I want to select units sold, revenue, and expenses. And I'll go ahead and select units sold from up here. The reason why is I want to actually kind of create a visualization to this. This is nice, but 
it would really be nice for me if I could see sort of the slope uh, of how these things are kind of creating. From here, I would want to go to my Insert tab. Insert tab allows me to, once again, insert all these different types of things, including charts. The one I want to select is actually the scatter plot, which just is like a line chart, except, well, it is a line chart, actually. Uh, it's pretty much finding all those little points. So here's my X, here's my Y, make that a point. Here's my X, here's my Y, make that a point. X, Y, that's also, a, that's another Y, make it a point. I want to go ahead and select this scatter plot. And for me, I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, the, which one are you? The scatter with straight lines. Now what this allows me to do is you can see we already have now these two different uh, lines appearing. We've got our expenses and our revenue uh, being shown across different amounts of units sold and what our revenue slash expenses will be. I'm going to just clean this up a little bit, get rid of that title for example, and let's move it down here to right below uh, our break-even analysis. There we are. One of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick little format to my axes. I, I've got a little too much going on. I'm never going to, you know, I'm never going to make no money. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with 600,000 down here. And then for my uh, units, we'll go ahead and say that we'll at least at minimum typically sell 300 and 700 will be our little capping point. So I've got a nice little look about it now. As you can see, sort of what we've got is this revenue blue line and this expenses reddish line. Where they intersect, that's actually known as our break even point. And you can see it's somewhere in between 400 and 450. So, right, a little more than half, a little less than halfway. What this visual aid allows us to do now is we can actually see not only do we see our different units sold, I don't actually have to change that. Now, all of a sudden, all I have to say is let's mess around with my price. So, right now, my break-even point is I have to sell just under uh, 450 bikes uh, if I'm selling them at 2100. All right, well, what if I knock that down? I go to 1800. I see a visual aid. Notice what happened towards my graph. Suddenly, my graph changed, and I see my break-even point suddenly becomes I have to make about 650, uh, just under 650 uh, to break even now. If I swap it the other way, if I go and say maybe I sell them at $2,400, suddenly my break even point shrinks. And now I only need to sell about 325 of them, so 340 ish number. So it allows me to now have this visual aid to see where my break even point will be.